Hello again everyone, join me today on the East Dock feeder. Um, the feeder comes off the River Taff at Blackweir, runs round the outside of Coopersfield, then it goes round the outside of Butte Park, follows Cadder Castle round, it goes under North Road, then there's um, a short stretch opposite Cardiff Museum, goes under Cardiff City Centre, then it re reappears round about Tyndall Street where it carries on its journey into East Dock itself. Some people also know it as a taff feeder but it actually runs from the taff into East Dock itself. Um, it's very shallow water, probably no more than a foot and a half deep. And what I've been doing today is uh, fishing with a Dave Harrell number one dome top, stick float, nice orange top to it, I got three pound line straight through, to a size 16 hook, there you go, and I've been fishing with um, bread punch, I've had a couple of um, chublets, and couple of roach, nothing too big, but you know it's enough to keep an interest. The fishing always gone off a bit quiet because I, I did come down here relatively early and um, as, you, as we all know there's been no rain for a few weeks and I chose this particular spot because it's quite shaded but the uh, sun has managed to penetrate the water through the trees and it's now made it a bit of an issue to be honest with you because it's gone on the water and sorry for the noise in the background because obviously it's the city centre and there's a lot of traffic and I was just an ambulance going past in the background um, as I said the sun started to penetrate onto the water there's no colour in the water at all, so as the sun has gone onto the water, the uh, fishing has subsided. It's a bit of a shame because it did start off fishing quite well, to be honest with you. Again, about maybe four, possibly five chublets, a couple of roach up to about three or four ounces, and the best fish, part of the course, was a roach about a pound. And I tried to swing it in and it just flicked off. But since then, apart from a very tiny roach, I've had nothing to be honest with you. It's so, uh, how long I'm going to stick this out for, I don't know, but the fishing is, it's gone really poor now, to be honest with you. Um, it could be that the fish have dropped down under a tunnel that goes underneath um, Cardiff City Centre, because there's a lot of shade under there, and where I'm fishing now, it's relatively clear, there's the sun's on it, so, you know, they have, they've got the whole stretch to go up and down, they don't have to be right in front of me, because it's moving water and they can go where they please. But it's just been nice to catch a couple of fish again from uh, this sea stock feeder, because I haven't fished here for probably 35, possibly 40 years, so I didn't know whether I was going to catch anything when I came here this morning. To catch anything at all is a bonus. There's um, pigeons mating above me, so they're flapping around in the trees. Um, I'm going to show you. There's the bread puncher that I've been using on the hook. And I've got, I think it's a Drennan make um, bread punch. Not sure what size it is. It's also, there's a piece of bread already left in there. There's a Hovis loaf of bread, by the way, I'm using, and it's been in my freezer, to be honest with you, for a while. I took it out yesterday, but within a short space of time, uh, the top part of it had got stale. I did have it in a brick shed, but um, it got a bit stale on the top, but the rest of it's okay to use. I've been feeding in hemp seed, as well as um, bread punched. I'm using some of the uh, Mac Pollard 
bread punch, which has got a bread, bread crumb, beg your pardon, which has got aniseed in it. And I sifted it all through as well in a, a maggot riddle to make sure there was no big lumps in there, and I threw them away. I think, you know, that's really paramount because if you're fishing with bread punch and you've got big bits of uh, your um, Paolo grown bait um, in, in lumps, they'll just take the lumps of feed and they won't bother with your hook bait then. So that's something you don't want. So it's made a nice fine crumb, but uh, at the moment the fish, they're not around at all. So I'll keep plugging at it and see if I can catch you something. Okay, what I've done now is I've panned you round so you can see the uh, stretch of water that I'm fishing. Don't know whether you're going to make my float out at all. It's uh, close to the bank. I have tried on the other side, but to be honest with you, it even shallows up even more on the other side. So I think that was slightly over depth then because uh, that wasn't a fish. When the fish have been taken, they've uh, been taking it quite positive, to be honest with you. What I can make of the water so far is the uh, fish seem to favour the um, the sides of this stretch rather than the middle. But um, at the moment they're not playing ball at all. I've had a little tiny roach, which is the last fish I caught which was down the end of the swim where I am now, and uh, it, it was literally tiny. So I'm right down now, I'm past that bush, I don't know whether you can make it out. Back there. I'm actually fishing under the bush now. So um, what I may do, because uh, the fishing has gone quite poor to be honest, you know, is I will, may well show you what I've caught and um, say so I might, might well show you what I've caught and uh, and then uh, fish without a keep net at all and just have a couple of hours without filming to be honest with you because at the moment it's gone really quiet. Can't um, give you any proper explanation why that is. Well it's because it's just the sun's come up and it's put the fish down. But like I said there's been no rain as we all know for some time now, whether it's a river, a stream, this feeder, there's had nothing. Well, one thing's for certain, you know, because it's moving water, it's oxygenated water, so the fish, they, you know, if they're in a feeding mood, they will take the bait, but uh, whether they've moved out of this swim or not, now I don't know. Something I can tell you about the swim itself is it's uh, full of a lot of debris. There's a lot of uh, branches in it. There's um, rubbish here and there. It looks like there's somebody's thermos flask the other side of the water. And there's a lot of rubbish on the banks as well. There's, um, looks like you've got odd bottles of gin that somebody's been drinking and there's cans left here. It's a sad sight that um, you have to put up with when you come to these stretches. You know, nobody looks after them at all. If anything, it's just totally abused. I'm 
and I doubt very much whether anyone's fished this stretch here for probably years to be honest with you. Okay folks, what I'm going to do now is try and attempt a panny round and show you the fish in the net. So they had a few tidy fish here to be honest. So there's, there's a chublet. There's another one. See, you know, they're decent sized chublets. Try and get hold of the roach for you. There's one of the roach. So, don't know whether you're going to be able to make this out. Don't know whether you can see them fish, there's a leaf there in front of them. There you go. So there's a few fish in there. A couple of nice little roach, lovely chublets. Roach. There we go. So there we are, uh, folks. So hopefully you've uh, picked that up. And uh, what I'm going to do now is probably knock you off because like I said the uh, the fishing has gone pretty poor to be honest so I was just glad I managed to catch a couple earlier on so that I could show you so there we go so I'm going to knock you off now and uh, as I've said in previous videos if you um, like the videos I'm making please give me a, a thumbs up for the like click on the notification bell and then you'll be able to access any of the videos I've got in my um, library sorry that's for subscribing I meant to say so you need to click on the red button for to access all the videos I've got but um, if you click on the notification bell if you've already subscribed to the channel you'll be notified when there's um, a new video that I've made out. Um, like I said, I'm going to knock you off because the fishing sub subsided. Um, I'm trying to keep these videos now to just one one length of uh, feature rather than uh, going into two lots. Um, it's a, something I haven't been able to help you on, so because. Um, the battery's only got a certain life on this um, camera and uh, sort of after the bow half hour of filming is about as much as it'll take with the memory on the uh, mobile phone I've got and uh, also as well um, in between clips that I'm uh, showing you you have to wait so you're wasting film you're just waiting to catch something so I'm going to knock you off if something exceptional happens, I will uh, I will put a part two out. So bye for now. Catch you again on the bank. And thanks everyone for subscribing to the channel. Bye.